next we're going to talk about Kaito and N-Scale, is that correct? Yes, that's right. So Kaito is a, a Japanese manufacturer of N-Scale. They're one of the one of the most popular N-Scale manufacturers. All of their product is, is very high quality, made in Japan. Um, and I was just going to quickly demonstrate the uh, the CV-1. This is a, um, a small track set ah. with very small radius turns. Um, so this is a really good way for somebody to get started Absolutely. with a very, very small layout that they could have on like a, a desk or a yeah. coffee table. And um, and then we'll open this up actually and have a look. So I love Kato Unitrack because it, co it goes together very, very easy. easily. The uh, the roadbed is attached to the track. so it may, And then the roadbed snaps, snaps apart. And goes back together very easily, just like that. Very satisfying, that. That's brilliant. And um, yeah, it's great. So you can very it's quickly. Really realistic. So let, let's build this layout. We'll build it very quickly because it doesn't take much time at all to do this. Look at this. But I'll sort of put it together the way I want to. <laughs> very good. It's got a lot of grip on this mat. Yeah, this mat is quite <laughs> grippy. It's 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 sometimes it's very hard to move products around. Actually, there is a lot of track in this little box. Yeah, well, we're not even going to use all of it. We're just going to use just enough to fit Go it around. onto this. At the end of life, wow. Yeah, so this is a full oval set. This is a basic starter yeah. train set, uh, and then that completes the oval section. And then this yes. is where you um, you plug your power into, ah, perfect. which they kindly give you a, a cord to do that. And again, everything just clips together really easily. Just un untangle this. There we go. It's very modular, so I think one of the best things that Kaito is, uh, has come up with is having this system that is extremely modular, so you can expand it. Um, there's no need for soldering. Everything is yeah. installed really, really well to have in the power supply um, is installed. You can unplug everything when you don't need, um, when you want to put a set away and you don't need to desolder anything or whatsoever. It's, it's great if you don't have a permanent layout Absolutely. or if, if you're playing around and you don't quite know what to build because you can take yeah. things apart, put it back together in minutes. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, I'll just put this. Well, I'll get the re-railer because we're going to use it in a second. Oh, we will need that. That's, Absolutely. That's one important thing. These sets always come with the re-railer. This is a fantastic <laughs> uh, tool that, um, you know, if you don't have it, uh, you can live without. But if you have it, it's going to make your life so much easier. Uh, and we're going to show how this works in a second. Yeah. So the next thing you need, power pack. So Kato oh. produces their own power pack. Yes. And um, we'll just we'll go ahead and take that out of the box and Definitely. hook it up. And this is a design specifically for Kato Unitrack. Perfect. So again, it's just a very simple plug and play operation. I'll, I'll give a question to you guys. If yes. Some more for others to come through. Yeah. Would you consider this Kato Track okay for beginners or to model railway or not? Absolutely. Yet? I would say it's ideal for beginners. Yes. And I wouldn't say it's exclusively good for just beginners. I would say that um, I've seen a lot of uh, professional modelers use it. Definitely. And they ballast it, paint it, and um, it's it's indistinguishable from other track usually, uh, yeah. but it's it's definitely ideal for a beginner or somebody who doesn't particularly like soldering definitely. or doesn't have a permanent. And, and the Kato ecosystem where you start building trams and cities is quite phenomenal and goes really well with this. So if you have uh, they have a road system as well, I think, where you can have uh, uh, buses and trams to go around it. So you, it's all designed to interact with a um, system buildings. Yeah. They got their free nice Japanese looking building, kind mm. of uh, tall buildings, it, it, it works really well when you... Very modular. You you're, modular. You're right, yeah, they do, um, it's a tram, unit tram they call it, it's a tram yes. system, it uses yes. very tight turns like this, Yes. Um, and then it has spaces for buildings, That's right. Um, very Japanese style architecture, Definitely. that you can build up a city from, Correct. from so what they've beautiful. produced. It's beautiful. So, so that's the controller here, so let's jump on the side again, set camera, here we go. Yeah, so, backwards, forwards, throttle. That looks like very much a train controller. Very much, very much. They're, they're all very similar. I, I quite like these ones though. Um, and then the power just plugs straight into the back. And uh, I might put that over where you are. Yeah. You, you might have to drive I'll today. I'll be driving the train and today. <laughs> if you want to plug and that Let me plug this one here. So, I'll, uh, so this one goes just uh, in the back. Yeah. And then let me get some power here. 
Here we go. All right, so in a second we'll be able to get this train driving, but I think we're gonna get this to drive first. Oh, you know what? That's a great idea. So, we presented these last week. We did. And it's the first of our Hearns Workshop trains, actually. Mm. It's a W class. And there'll be a few more coming, isn't there? I That's think right. We are starting the design of uh, a couple of other uh, trams as well. So, show how the rear rider works with yeah. uh, with this. So yeah, um, with the with the little W class, it's got it's got the comical proportions. Yes. Very cute. Uh, so the rear railer basically is a ramp that, because these wheels are so small, and the flanges on the wheels are so small, it's nice to have a tool that will allow you to glide that right onto the track. Oh, like that. oh I think you you're moving. There you go. <laughs> Here we go. And up we go. It's like you're. It's going pretty fast. Uh, oh wow. There is a lot of speed up. Oops. There we go. It's a bit bit top heavy that one. Yeah, yeah. so we, we top speed at three quarter at three quarter really. Yeah. So, so this is our little train. So this is actually based on a Kato truck. Uh, Kato chassis. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So Kato produces um, a wide range of like yeah. small little chassis with an engine and wheels and they're very common for um, for people adapting um, different bodies and things yes. to them for scratch building. Definitely. Um, and this is this was our wonderful little creation that we've done with the that. First time of many to come. But yeah. you had something something else to show us. Yeah, I, I do. Um, and these and these are, are locomotives that do use chassis similar to the one underneath that tram. Right. Um, they're little uh, pocket sets they call them, and uh, I'll just put them right here so we can see. Uh, these are just a few examples. Uh, they're, they're usually based around like Japanese yeah. or, or British designs. Um, and they're just a wonderful little way to um, get a full train. You get a locomotive mm -hmm. and some carriages. And they work perfectly for a set like this because okay. they're small and they get around really sharp little turns. Uh, so you've got like a, a diesel freight locomotive uh, with a, like a goods couple goods wagons. And then you have like a, a smaller steam locomotive with some passenger carriages. And uh, I've opened one up. Um, we can put it straight on the track. Absolutely. And we'll, Let's see we'll what speed this, we can achieve. We'll that. put this to good use again. Do you put the speed down? Let me turn the speed down first. Okay, we're good. So yeah, first thing is the the little tiny locomotive. Uh, yeah, there, there we go. go. So very small. Now, interestingly enough, this does not have any power at all. Oh wow! This this yeah, it's it's merely pushed because the power. Is actually in one of the passenger carriages. That's very interesting. Underneath that is a little chassis, Which and that's identical to this one. It's very similar, it's or very similar. Very similar, because this one has uh, just um, two axles. It's got four, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. It's a similar length. So they're part of um, Kato's pocket line of yes. trains, which is very popular in Japan. So we'll go ahead and, and rail this. Nice and simple. And then the power car. I'll put that back again. I'm so used to doing these that I don't even need, don't even need the ramp. I feel like a, like a, le a le expert level, um, carriage railer. Yes. So, <laughs> and I'll do the last one. And that should come pull together nice and easily. All right. All right. Did so you want to give it a go? Let's go. Oh, very responsive. That's pretty neat. That is impressive. People get thrown from their seats. Yes. We're driving definitely. like that. So let's see if you can show the controller. The operation. Let me go here. So Oh you lost, oh, lost, oh, lost something here. Oh hang on, we'll we'll stop. For Too quick. Okay, so I'm gonna put this uh, let me see if you can put it here so everyone can see. I'll hold it up here. There you go. Here Should we go. Good. So we got forward, so we're going forward, and then you slowly over this one. And off you go. Then when you want to stop, stop like this, you can change direction, and slowly you turn it back again. Super cool. Very and it's nice. so small. Everything is so small as well. Absolutely. Yeah, here we go. So that's practically 
all fits on, on such the a small tray. space. Yeah, very very small space. So, and this is a very nice Kato kind of rundown. Yeah, Kato is a very versatile product, which um, we should be presenting more often. Actually, There's I think a lot so. To talk about. I think so. I've I think done we'll, a couple of videos already on this. We will be building something with scenery like this. Right. So, so that we can we can have it in the store and people can see it run. I think that idea. would be really fun. Definitely. Um, and for people who feel like they don't have the space at home to build something like this, Basically. this demonstrates that you certainly so, can. Definitely. And obviously in this one you can put narrow gauge as well. You could. So you um, can almost put an HO uh, train on a, on a um, 009 chassis. That's and, right. And you can use larger scale buildings so you can have a very compact layout in such a tiny space. So yeah, a lot of fun. I really love Absolutely. this. Absolutely. I agree. I agree.